Jeff, I sometimes get a lot of questions about what exactly is a repoint. A lot of customers don't physically know what a repoint is. And some of them then go and say, what is a bed and a repoint? So what do you think? What, what is a bed and repoint? Well, to me, a bed and repoint is when you remove the existing ridging take out the bedding yeah, this, clean it off so we clean the edges off take as much of this off as possible because we don't really want to replace all the ridge capping mm -hmm. although if the customer wants to we can yes. give him yep. new, new ridge capping yep. and then we virtually start again we start again yeah yep. and why would you do a full rebed and a repoint as opposed to just a repoint well that, that's generally it's to do with the bedding that the existing bedding's deteriorated to a point that it, you'll see it on your roof if you've got one. It's starting to crack down. It's crumbling. Yes. Um, and that's just going to let water in for your ridge. So yeah, that's why we need to put a new, a bed and repoint. Yep. Other cases could be situation with the weep holes. If there's no weep holes in the top and the tile is too small, again, you'll need to remove that bedding. Exactly. Yeah. And bed and repoint. And, and I that. find that the most situations where I recommend a, a full rebed and a repoint would be where there's no weep holes. Yes. Because obviously, if you've got, you've got no weep holes, then you have to put weep holes in. Uh, so the best way to put weep holes in is you start afresh, you put new bedding in, you put weep holes in, and then you point, and you clear the weep holes. Yeah. And that's the only way to fix uh, a ridge that has got no, no weep holes. Yeah. What are some common problems when it comes to the insulation, installation of, those, of the bedding and the pointing? Well, I think I see some areas where roofers put a lot of cement in their bedding cool. and as a result yeah. it's 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 just so hard and, and, and the bedding's not supposed to be uh, one part cement one part sand it's roughly about uh, three to four parts sand and one part cement I've definitely come across that issue and that that's so bad that you end up having to break if you're going to remove it you have yeah. to break the tile yeah, you got you got to smash the whole roof yeah, yeah. And, and, and and there's no need for it because the the only purpose for the bedding is to hold the ridge up mm -hmm. and then you are supposed to wait till the bedding dries up sufficiently so that it is uh it's set and it's actually holding the ridge up mm -hmm. and once it's done you clean the uh, bedding away and prepare that for pointing. You've got bedding, yeah. why do we need to put pointing on it? Bedding's kind of holding it all up and together, why do we need pointing? Uh, pointing. The cement, don't forget your bedding's only sand cement. Right. It's not waterproof. It's not waterproof, but yeah. not only that, it cracks. Okay. Yeah. Right? You're seeing cracks on footpaths everywhere, right? Yes. So what happens is when you put your bedding and you put your ridge cap on, very soon after, you get cracking. Because that's okay. the nature of uh, a sand cement mix. Right. The world crack. You right. can't stop it from cracking. So what the pointing does is the pointing covers the bedding. Mm -hmm. And these days, with what we call flexible pointing, yeah. because it's flexible, there's less cracking.